Today we are going to show you our office at Fantastic and how we work on the day before the most anticipated game on Steam Digital Store. Let's fly to Singapore! Oh man, I can't believe I've waited and wasted hours of my day for this thing. I can't believe we're still all here waiting for something to happen on this game. Yet they're just always trolling us by sharing things that people do not care about. I'm still absolutely baffled by what they revealed today, which is basically nothing. Nothing that we haven't seen yet or nothing that confirms this is a real game again and again. Please take a look at the live comments of the video Fantastic, which are the developers of the day before, shared on their channel. What we saw throughout this whole the day before event is a small NVIDIA gameplay trailer of 50 seconds and then people thought that was just a preview of the bigger video that was coming right after that that was premiering on Fantastic's YouTube channel. Turns out it was really just a random vlog from the devs that no one cared about with some little tidbits, little teases of footage that doesn't really confirm anything at all. The game looks cool, yes, but it does not confirm anything nor does it prove if the game is real or not. I'm sorry to be like this, but with less than two months left for the day before's full release, we have nothing to go on about. No actual unedited gameplay that can gain people's trust and make them excited. We just have some random gameplay trailers that look like a fake concept demo created only to impress people, but in reality is not actually real gameplay. Again guys, the little tidbits of gameplay we've had today looks really great, but it does not create any hype because the devs do not communicate with the community, they do not show what the community wants and they do not ever listen. The day before is the most wishlisted game on Steam, yet all we have seen is almost just a bunch of nonsense. I thought the game was real at first, because Nvidia, a massive gaming company, was partnering with them to release new trailers and such. But in my opinion, it turns out Nvidia just wants a piece of the bread and make some money or views out of the excitement of gamers, I guess. Nvidia might be sharing an unfinished, broken, and a misleading game, and they wouldn't know about it, it seems. It's pretty sad sad that I have to talk about this game like this because I think the day before is a game that people have wanted for such a long time. It's actually a dream game of mine because it said you can explore an open world New York as well as its outskirts with forests, villages and so much more and you can have your own vehicle, your own house, customize your own weapons and all of this with other players and, zo and zombies roaming the world. To me this is what the division should have been and throughout the game's development we've seen that the day before has used this high of a failed The Division game to try and gain fans. So far they have misled a lot of people and have still done this today in my opinion. It's also, it's also kind of weird because they're not scamming us right now, they're not asking for any money, any kickstarter and things of the sort, you can't even pre-order the game. So I'm guessing they're extremely bad at game marketing, communicating with the community and overall just creating a game. If you follow the studio, their last games have all been abandoned and are not massive games that everyone loved. They were small indie games that disappeared, as opposed to the day before which looks triple A. There's just something really really wrong here. Please let me know your thoughts and like the video right now if you agree with me and subscribe. <laughs>